The Gaumont, Watford, opened on Monday the 3rd of May 1937. It was designed by Norwich architect J. Owen Bond and was probably a scheme taken over from Lou Morris by Hyams and Gale. As during 1937, the Hyams brothers and Major Gale finally wound up H and G cinemas and joined forces with Gaumont British to form Gaumont Super Cinemas, the new cinema at Watford came under Gaumont British control by the time it was ready for opening. The front elevation seemed dull and uninteresting in comparison with other Gaumont British theatres. This may be because it was not an original GB scheme and also because the height had to be reduced to conform with adjacent buildings. After Watford's Odeon closed, the Gaumont was given the Odeon name on September the 20th, 1964. The Gaumont may have had an uninteresting frontage, but the auditorium was very pleasant indeed, with a honeycomb-like pattern of circular holes on display walls. This decorative feature covered the ventilation ducts and the pipes of the organ. The Gaumont seated exactly 2,000. 1,398 in the stalls and 602 in the circle. Yet another reason for suspecting that the Gaumont had been a Lou Morris scheme was that the organ lift was large enough to carry a Compton console the make of organ Lou Morris always specified, which was bigger than that required for a Wurlitzer. Suspicion that the scheme was taken over by Hyam and Gale is based on the fact that the actual organ installed was a Wurlitzer, three manual, eight rank, not a Compton as Gaumont British, like Lou Morris usually ordered. The opening recital was given by Vincent Collier, who came from the Hyams acquired Regal, West Norwood, and the first resident organist was Tommy Dando. The Gaumont, by now Odeon, became a triple on July the 16th, 1975, and possibly because the rank organization's managing director lived locally, the minis were outfitted to a higher standard than usual. For instance, in Watford's minis, the carpet extended up the side walls. The Triple Cinema closed on Saturday, October the 15th, 1983, and the demolished auditorium is now part of Sainsbury's supermarket. The original entrance has been replaced by shops.